The Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park, a case study of a planned housing project developed in an environmentally sensitive way. The park consists of no flush toilets which conserve water, 13 new bridges that connect the East London to the main lot, new animal habitats that encourage animals to live in the park, biomass power stations that use more renewable supplies of energy to heat homes and water, forest bikes that keep people fit and don't pollute, allotments that are located in the centre of residential blocks to get people growing their own fruit and veg, green roofs on top of tall buildings that absorb carbon dioxide and encourage wildlife. The East Village now has a water recycling project which takes water from roofs and gutters and uses it for the no flush toilets. They have less parking that encourages people to use public transport or walk. Also, 6.5 kilometres of the River Lee was cleared up and 35 kilometres of new footpaths and cycle paths were introduced. All of the new homes that were built were insulated, which saves carbon. The flats that they built were made for rent only because it saves lots of money. 98% of demolished building parts were reused in the making of the stadium and other buildings. LED light bulbs, which use less electricity, means that 5,000 tonnes of carbon is saved each year. Natural lights that give people vitamin D mean that you don't need to turn the lights on. And the Jubilee line was extended to reach the people in East London. Thank you for watching this revision video. I hope it helped you with your CE. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.